Hey, this is Bo with Designs by Bo. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please watch the videos all the way through. Thank you for stopping by. In this video, this tutorial will cover how to make a silhouette, an SVG silhouette of an image. For demonstration purposes, I simply uh, went on Google and found an image. I found Mickey Mouse, figured it's something universal that most people would be familiar with. So this will work great for this uh, tutorial. And what we're going to do is make a um, silhouette of this Mickey Mouse image. After you copy your image from Google, from Google, you're going to just paste it into, into Inkscape. Sometimes when you paste images in that you get from Google, it'll um, show up as a black square or rectangle, whatever the, sh uh, the bounding box of the image is. If that's the case, you simply just save the image to your computer and then um, open it in Inkscape. Now, once we have your image in Inkscape, what we're going to do is make sure we click on our image to make sure our image is selected. We're going to go up to the top where it says Path, choose Path, and go down to Trace Bitmap. And what I like to do is come down where it says Live Preview below the image and click that box so we can see exactly what um, what's happening with our image and I'm going to use for this sake I'm going to use the brightness cutoff because all we want is a um, basically a black black and white image because we want to take the black to make the silhouette and there's a couple ways to do this but I'll show you an easy way to do it so with the brightness cutoff if you see if the, the the lower you make this number, the less um, of the image is selected. The higher you make this number, the more of the image is selected. If you go all the way up to 1,000, it'll give you that black square. So what we want to do is keep coming until we can get a good enough, crisp enough image. Uh, let's see. So we'll... we'll, we'll Stop right about there, 700. So we have a crisp enough image. Once we have that selected, uh, I keep smooth on and then stack scans on. And then I simply click OK. And what it's done, it's, it's given us a duplicate black and white image of this image. And I usually just hit the X to close out of there. I'll move this to the side bring this one to the middle so we can have this as our focal point. Now from this point, what we want to do is we're just going to put a outline, a simple outline around Mickey. And if you look at the bottom left, you see where it says feel and there's the black color and stroke. There's no, it says unset. And you want to make sure that you have the image selected so clicking on the image if the box is not around it's not selected so you want to select your image and then to there's two ways you can do this you can either come down to where it says stroke in the box just in the in the area where it says click on where it says unset you just right click to bring up a menu and then you can choose black and it'll put a black stroke or you could choose white and it'll put a white stroke and if you put a stroke and you want to remove a stroke, the one way to remove the stroke is to go to the same menu, do that same thing, and go to the bottom and um, hit remove stroke, and it'll take the stroke away. And the other way, the way that I use it a lot so that I don't have to go to that menu, is to hold shift and then click the color you want. And uh, for purposes to be able to see this visually, I'll just use uh, red just so we can see that there is an outline. 
And if you look at the image, I'll scroll in so you can see a little better. You can see the red outline around Mickey. And to scroll in like I did, you can just hit control and then scroll up, hold down control and then scroll up and down on your mouse wheel. Now what we're going to do is, since we trace this image, it's now a vector image and it has a bunch of nodes that make up this image. And there's the edit path by nodes too. If you click that, you'll see all of the nodes that are there. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove these nodes, but first what, what we need to do is since our image is the field color is black and the stroke is red. So we have this bounding stroke all the way around. So what we want to do to is remove the, um, the color out of the middle of the image. And to do that, we're just going to, you can again go where on go where it says feel, go on put your cursor on the color, right click and then that menu will pop up. And you can remove the feel here, but what I like to do is um, you can just click the uh, none for none for no color and this will remove the color from the image. And now you just have your um, your bounding box your your outline of the Mickey. At this point, we're going to click on the um, edit paths by nodes, and then we're just going to I hold control and then scroll up on the mouse button, and then we're going to zoom in, and all we're going to do is remove all the nodes that are on the inside. Careful not to take delete nodes that uh, you may uh, need because you'll see the, the image will get distorted. It'll do some weird, wild stuff if you if you remove the wrong thing. So we're removing everything that's on the inside. Only thing we want is everything around the outside edges. And if you do make a mistake, you just hit uh, Control Z to go back, and you hit Control Y to go forward. So we're just going to be careful to remove all of this. And and what I'm doing is highlighting clicking and right uh, right clicking and dragging the cursor over the nodes so that we can select multiple nodes at one time and delete them at all at once and then all you're doing at that point is just hitting delete And you can control, hold control. If you need to get tighter in there, just hold control and scroll in more to get in there. And I'm just doing this the faster way. It's just. And this can be a slow or fast process, guys, depending on how quick you are with, with your mouse. The type of mouse you have will determine how quickly you can go as well because some, some, some mice um, index faster than other ones do. So... And we have just a little bit more left, then we're done. Just get the feet.
be sure guys not to delete any of the nodes that you actually need for the outside and the way that I just move the screen without doing anything is to click um, down click click and hold the, the scroll the mouse the, the mouse wheel and just drag the move the screen around while holding and that's all of the nodes guys and then we're going to go back to the select tool and now we have our bounding box at this point we just simply go down to where the field is and then we're just going to hit black and then we're going to fill that in and we have our silhouette and what we're going to do is remove this red outline so to do that you're just going to come down to the where it's just put your cursor over the red color right click and then hit remove stroke and there you have it we have the outline we have the outline of the image And that's it, guys. That's how you make a, easily make a silhouette out of just about any image. As long as you can get um, some shape around the, the image that you're trying to use, as long as there's shape around it, space around it to get the image, or uh, then you can do this, guys. But this is Bo, Designs by Bo. Thank you guys for watching. Please, please hit the subscribe button before you guys go. Please hit that subscribe button. And um, we'll see you on the next one.